Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I'm reviewing Rain Scents. They are a company that I have on Instagram um, and a very, very long time ago I reviewed a couple of their scents. I will put that video in the description down below just in case you want to go and have a look at it. But they release so many new scents all the time and even though I really enjoyed their last two wax melts that I tried the scents, I just get obviously so many scents to review and so many different brands that it takes me quite a while to end up getting back to another one that I really want to try. So I've wanted to try Rain Scents again for absolutely ages. They release so many new scents and I just didn't know what to choose from. But I was having a look on their website and they had this super cute bag. So you can see here, it's, it's not massive, it's just a little pouch there, resealable. And it's called Pick and Mix Wax Mills. It's so cute the way they've done it like sweets. I absolutely loved it. So for this pouch, it's £12 and you get eight cents in there. And on the website, they've got a little description box where you put in your, your scents that you want. And on the left of the page is all the ones that you can choose from. So they don't include um, absolutely all of the scents they do because some of them are limited time for like Halloween or Christmas. But they've got quite a few choices on there so I thought what an ideal way to give it a go so you get the little shot pots that you can see here so the ones that I've already tried I'm only doing half of them in this video or else I'll be on here for absolutely ages um, but on this video I'm doing four and then we've got four more to go so let's start with this first four so I have wild cherry we've got peachy bum We've got grape soda, and they put all the cute little pictures on the front, and we have snickerdoodle. There is also, as well, let me just open this, on the um, inside of the lids, you've got the little ingredients list and the name of them. So this is snickerdoodle latte, and like I say, you get the eight in there. I still have to review, um, let's have a look at this one. So we've got fun fetty cookie dough. I've got warm sugar donut. And let me grab these last two. We have blueberry muffin. And lastly, we have got crispy marshmallow treats. So you can see I've, I've gone for a bit of a theme here. They're all foody sort of scents. So they will be in the next video that I do for these. I just didn't, this video will go on for ages if I do them all at once. So wild cherry. The normal wax melt packs that they do are like in a, in a cube sort of pack. It's £4.50. But these are the little sample pots. I have been using the whole sample pot each time. But as I go through, I'll tell you whether you needed them or not. So let's start off with wild cherry. So we've got a sweet, delicious scent of black, juicy cherries with top notes of cherry, raspberry and more cherry. Peach, and then you guessed it, more cherry. I love that description. They're, they seem like such, they're trying to make it so much fun, like with the pick and mix and the fun description. And even if you have a look on their website, which I'll put down below as well, everything's very fun and colourful. It's really good. And they've bought out some really, really cute Halloween scents. And they've got like a little dip scoopy one that I'm really going to try and get before they sell out for Halloween. I just have not had time. But back to Wild Cherry. And again, I'm going to repeat what they've said. You guessed it. It's cherry. This is like Yankee Candles Black Cherry times five. It's sweeter than that one. And the cherries are really, really sweet in it. It is an absolutely amazing scent. And I love the smell of cherries. I love anything to do with cherries. The taste, the flavours, the scent. I love cherry. This has been one of the best cherry scents I've ever, ever tried. So absolutely recommend it if you are a Black Cherry Yankee Candle fan. You are going to absolutely love this. The only thing I would say is if you're using the whole shop pot, you might find it too overpowering in a smaller room. I used the whole pot and it absolutely blew my mind how strong it was throughout the whole of my downstairs of my house. I definitely think if you're in a smaller room, you can get away with half, half in this, just cutting it in half. Absolutely lovely lovely scent really really nice so highly recommend that one next we are going to go on to grape soda so grape soda says an aroma of juicy sweet sparkling grapes intermingled with pineapple raspberries and strawberries on a base note of vanilla what can i say 
it also kicked butt. It was so, so strong. Um, when I've been to Florida in the past, it sort of reminded me of the smell of um, Kool-Aid, like the grape one of that. It's very, very sickly. Again, you do not need to use the whole shot pot. To be honest, I'm in quite a big room and I didn't really even need to use the whole pot. So it's really nice and it's really strong. I would say it's stronger than the cherry, the wild cherry one, but on a different sort of note. It's a lot sicklier. It's very, very sweet. So if you're not a sweet fan, you are not going to like this. It is going to make your nose curl. It is super, super strong. You definitely get the raspberries, the strawberries, and the whole mix of it is, it is very sweet. It is very sickly. So that is why I'm just saying, bear in mind, you might, you might only need, you might be able to get three out of that. It's so, so strong. And if you are sort of a sweet scented fan, you are going to really, really like this. So it was stronger than wild cherry, but I preferred wild cherry just because it wasn't so sickly. Um, but again, that's just personal preference. And then we have peachy bum. So peachy bum says a mouthful in burst of peach nectar with hints of dewy orange blossoms and cherry. For me, this has been the only one that I didn't like out of these four. I found it to be very subtle compared to how strong, like I said, how, even a little spoiler warning because I haven't done Snickerdoodle yet, but for how strong the other three were, Peachy Bum was quite a disappointment. I used the whole shot pot and I did get some peach smell from it, but I didn't get any orange. I didn't get any cherry. And again, it might just be because it's not normally a scent I would go for. I don't... I do normally avoid fruity scents unless it's something like um, blueberries or cherry, which are my favourite sort of smells with fruit. But this one was the biggest disappointment out of the four for me at the moment. So might be more beneficial in a smaller room. Um, I did use the whole shot pot and I still just didn't find that it really carried nowhere near as well as the others. So bear that in mind if you're trying it. I think if you are a fruity fan, still give it a go if you're going to buy the pick and mix bag because you did still get a hint of peach. So it might have just been me because I'm not the biggest fan of peach smells, but I thought I'd give it a go. You've got to chuck one or two in there that you wouldn't normally get. So not my favourite, but if you're a peach fan, you might find in a smaller room that it works for you. And then lastly, from this half of the video, we have Snickerdoodle Latte. So this says a rich roasted Colombian coffee that is blended with spices and hints of toasted nut with a base of vanilla buttercream. I absolutely loved this one as well. <laughs> so three out of four is not bad at all. I really, really enjoyed this. It wasn't too coffee fired. Um, I know obviously a lot of people aren't keen on the smell of coffee, but don't let that put you off that that's in the description. It wasn't really... I hardly got any coffee from it, really. It was more the toasted nut, the hints of spices, the vanilla. Definitely think this would be a really, really nice scent for more like the autumn Christmas sort of time. Really enjoyed it. And it's it's a perfect scent for foodies like me, the people that love all those food scents. Really nice if you like your like the spices, the cloves, the cinnamons and bits like that. It's, it's very similar to, say, like a... A gingerbread latte sort of smell but just not so strong on that cinnamon because it's got other notes in there that are dulling that down so three out of four i've absolutely loved and i've still got four more to go which i cannot wait to start burning grape soda i've had burning for two days and it still is so so strong so for the if i was going to do um a little comparison i would say um snickerdoodle and wild cherry are my number one spot i don't think i can really choose between them because they're two completely different you've got fruity and then you've got food like not food f fruit is food but you know what i mean you've got something a bit fresher and then something a bit more all to me peachy bums at the end and we've got grape soda here so first place second and third for the throw rating i'm gonna say this was probably like a four out of ten for me which is sad um, this one, I'm definitely giving it an 8 out of 10. The only reason I'm not rating it even higher is just because I think it can be too sickly and too overpowering for some people. So just be wary if you're in a smaller room or, of course, if make sure you cut it in half or into three just to get the most out of it if you are in a smaller room. And then out of both of these, I'm giving them a 10 out of 10. Absolutely loved them. No faults at all with them really enjoyed them i think they've been absolutely lovely and they're just what i would have wanted from just even if he was reading a book by its cover and just picking it based on the names they're just what i would have wanted so 
I hope you've enjoyed this. If you've not heard of Rain Sense, have a little look on their website, which is in the description down below. I This is now the second time I've tried them and I've really enjoyed it and I've still got these four to go. So I'll get them reviewed for you as quick as I can as well, just in case you want to wait for my thoughts on these to buy yourself a pick and mix bag. But as always, thank you for watching and I'll get some new reviews out for you soon.